What is up, guys? It is your girl, Hey Frenchie B, and I am here with the first podcast segment of the 20-something diaries. Like, what? I should have been did this. <laughs> but hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the 20-something diaries first podcast segment. Um, if you are new here, thank you for watching this video. You probably watched some of my previous videos, so thank you for that as well. Um, go ahead and subscribe because support is free and I would love to see the game grow. I have been seeing it grow and I am so, so thankful for all the new subscribers that I have. So, hey to you guys and thank you guys for subscribing. Um, make sure that you guys are liking the videos. Make sure you are commenting so it can get pushed out to the algorithm. I would really love your help with that and um, support. Also, go ahead and leave me some comments. Interact with me, you guys. I would love to see, you know, some of the things or thoughts that you may have about the videos that I do make, the content that I do create. And if you have not already, please go ahead and follow me over on my TikTok platform. I'm lit over there. <laughs> your girl's a whole fashionist over there. So go ahead and check out my TikTok. It's going to be Hey Frenchie B as well. Um, but as always, everything will be in the description box. And thank you guys for tuning in. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this segment. I'm going to be, you know, smoking a little bit. So whatever you got, grab your water, grab your wine, grab your, you know, your blunt, grab your cigs, whatever you got. And um, let's get into this video. <laughs> So basically, I want to come on here because, first of all, I've been wanting to do this. Um, secondly, because I've just been feeling some type of way lately. Um, I'm in my 20s, you know what I'm saying? Duh, hence the 20-something diaries. If you're in your 20s out there, you're probably most watch, likely watching this. Or if you're about to reach your 20s, you're probably watching this. And man, I tell you, this stuff is not for the weak. Okay. Being in your early 20s is not for the weak. I don't care what nobody say. It is not for the weak. Um, I mean, when you get into your 20-somethings, you you know, you're looking to live your best life. And I'm not going to say I haven't been living my best life because I have been living quite the life. But I'm saying, like, people really don't talk about, like, too much of the downsides of the 20-somethings. And your girl is here to tell you that mm, it's not easy peasy, okay? Um... I kind of got the natural lighting going on right now. So if y'all see some flicking outside, it's probably some birds passing by or something like that. But I'm just telling y'all, like, it's not easy like people think. Um, you definitely go through your up and downs and you definitely learn some stuff. Um, my birthday is in May. I'll be turning 23 in May. So based off these little 22 years of life, um, <laughs> I can tell you that um, I have enjoyed myself. I have had my up and downs. I have lost friends. I have gained friends. I have started business ventures. I have stopped business ventures. I have restarted business ventures. Um, man, you got to give yourself time to explore and figure yourself out and all that because there's so much pressure on the 20-somethings about figuring out who we want to be and who we are because they tell you that's the time where you're really supposed to figure that out. Hey, don't come for me about my little, my tweezers and my blend, okay? I don't want to burn my fingers. But, yeah, man, like, you, it's so much pressure on about figuring out who you are and all of that. But really, you need to just take time to figure out who you are within yourself because it's so easy to look around and be like, oh, that person is doing that. I want to do that, too. But really, it's like, what do you really want to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever just take the time to stop and be like, dang, this world is full of full of people with talents and different stuff and skills and probably the same, some of the same talents as you. And so you probably looking like, what is it that I can do? But like I was saying, it's easy to look around in our generation and just see everybody doing everything and maybe even some of the talents that you want to do that make you want to enhance yours. But my advice is honestly to just take a step back and look at yourself and say, this is the life I'm living. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to that life, but this is my reality right now. A lot of times it's easy to get caught in the future. I am guilty of it. Um, and a lot of times that messes up, you know, enjoying the moment and living in the moment and things. And I want to say that I have come to appreciate living in moments more now. Because before, 
I mean, I would live in the moment, but you know, you want to capture every moment when you're a content creator or just in the 20 something, you just prone to your phone. You want to share everything because everybody is sharing everything. Nobody just lived in moments really anymore. And, um, um, I'm just letting y'all know, like living in moments feel so different. Like if you just take a moment to just put your, put your phone down or just take less photos or less footage, um, you will realize that you will um, enjoy moments more. And that is one thing I have come to appreciate a little bit more. Um, my lips are, I'm sorry y'all, my lips like mad dry. Um, of course I got, <laughs> I just put that on real rough, but <laughs> of course I got like, the stickiest lip gloss to put on. This is my going out lip gloss. <laughs> mm. But anyways, yeah, so it's easy to lose yourself when you're still trying to find yourself or figure out who the heck you even are. And my biggest advice is give yourself time and patience. Um, I am into my YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And I look at other YouTube creators all the time. And I'm like, dang like how did they get their channel to grow that big and like maybe i should do some of the same content they doing but really i don't even want to do that content you know what i'm saying like i want to do this type of content i want to sit down and have my oh so we friends i want to do my fashion i want to do traveling i just want to do what i want to do and i want to i want to still be pushing the algorithm but unfortunately it does not work like that but hopefully one day it will you know what I'm saying? Maybe one day I'll look back on this video and be like, dang, I remember when I said I wish the algorithm wasn't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all, like, it's hard. It's hard being in the 20-somethings, but definitely do enjoy your time. Um, they also never tell you how in the 20-somethings, it can be lonely. It can be really lonely in the 20-somethings. Like, coming from high school, having a big group of friends, I mean, you start losing losing that big group of friends in high school anyway I know for me I had a big group of friends in freshman year and as I went through high school it kind of faded out and then when I was in college I wasn't in touch with nobody from high school you know what I'm saying like um me and my friends probably just started rekindling but that was a part of just taking a step back and asking what I wanted from myself and a part of something I want for this year um is just like to have my girl gang you know what I'm saying have my sisterhood or just have my friends period have my friend group or like a positive one I don't want to repeat of like the high school games like we all coming into you know our 20s we all going down different paths we all got life going on of course but I think that, like, in our 20-somethings, we don't really learn how to prioritize, like, the important things, which I feel like the important things are, like, moments that you can live in with your friends and family and stuff like that. Um, I just think that those moments aren't cherished enough. And right now, it's kind of hard to with COVID out because nobody want to get their shot. Um, you know, nobody want to wear their mask and it's just crazy so the the lonely journey in your 20s is definitely real um if you have never heard that i know like when i was a kid all i heard was like when you get in your 20s you know what i'm saying you're gonna be living your life you're gonna be going through trial and error you know you got your friends you got you know dating and it's, it's wild it's crazy and to be honest all those things are in there but nobody ever talks about the downsides of the 20 something the 20 somethings and the truth is is that the 20 somethings can get lonely um so that's that's one of those things that aren't talked about and another thing that isn't talked about is like mental health your mental health is i think in, in your 20s like i feel like for the new generations like in our 20s we finally learn like hey all right I don't want this to be this trauma to be on me forever let me go to therapy like nobody really talks about therapy growing up everybody kind of frowns upon it in the black community anyway but you know um i recommend it i recommend it you know what i'm saying male or female i recommend that everybody gets therapy if needed some people don't actually need therapy which is fine you know what i'm saying 
that's amazing. But for the people who do, I would hesitate. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get that therapy. It's okay. Like, at the end of the day, it's your life. It's not theirs. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do it in private, do it in private. If you want to tell nobody, don't tell nobody. But if you do want to tell people, go ahead and tell people. If they frown upon it, then it's not meant for them to probably be around you in this stage in your life. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, that's one of the things that people really don't talk about. And then also... Um, I don't know about y'all, but growing up, I really wasn't taught how to handle my finances and my money and things like that. Um, I didn't have that type of, you know, family around me to help me figure those things out. So in my 20-somethings, I kind of like branched out and figured it out on my own. And I probably have made, no, I definitely have made some mistakes, you know what I'm saying, so far in my 20-somethings. But, um... Just take it with grace, you know what I'm saying? Take it with ease. Like, everybody probably have been through that situation. Or somebody in your life has been through that situation. If you can find a person that you really can trust to go to and just be like, man, like, I did this, they'll probably be like, man, I'll tell you, like, in my 20-somethings, I was doing something. So I do have, you know, my sisters, you know, they're older than me. They have been through some things that I could probably, like, you know, reference and go to. But, you know. If you could find somebody, or like even on YouTube nowadays, they have so much financial advice and things like that. So, like I said, I wasn't one of those people raised with the fortune of having a family who really dug into our finances and, you know, taught us how to save and taught us how to um, write our bills out and put money aside and do all that extra stuff. So, um, my advice is if you don't have that person in your life to talk to, definitely go to YouTube. YouTube has you know grow a lot and so many people do a lot of stuff with finances on there i myself am actually looking at somebody within the finance world myself right now um but yeah just listen to her and um just listening to her and figuring some things that really helped me so definitely do your research for what you want to do your research for and things like that don't be ashamed of it um because i definitely was ashamed of it for a long time because I would have other friends in my life be like, yeah, I have this, this, and that, and I plan this, this, and I'm like, damn, what? Well, how is they doing that? Like, why, why did my family teach me how to do that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, don't get yourself about it. Just you know, figure it out as you go. And if you ever have kids, never put them in a the predicament that we was in to not know about their finances because it's very, very, very big and important. I don't even know why they don't make it like a big thing in school, like. They make it a big thing, but not that much of a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they should make it a bigger thing. Like, they teach us math and, you know, all that. And you might have an economics class. You might uh, learn how to, um, you know, write a check maybe. But they need to get more and more deeper, deeper into it, if you ask me. I don't really know how it is in the schools nowadays because I'm not, you know, there. But I don't think it, it has changed much um, from what my little cousin has told me. But, yes, yeah, so that is a thing and then um figuring out like who you are they don't tell you that in your 20s like you might explore out of what you used to <laughs> um like for me i've been dating girls for the longest like since forever and i just recently started dating guys um maybe within the last few months last year I started like the end towards it. I, I really don't know when, <laughs> but you get the stress. It's pretty, it's still pretty fresh for me, but yeah, like don't feel guilty about trying something new in your twenties because I think in your twenties, it's kind of part of life figuring out who you are and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I definitely was shamed on my, on, I was shaming myself for a little minute. Cause I was like, uh, what is going on <laughs> what is going on you know what I'm saying but I just had to realize like it's my life people always gonna judge you no matter what the heck you do in your life so I had to give myself grace and be like listen this is something I wanted to do this is something I want to try so why am I you know shaming myself for it so you know you try things, you do things in your 20-somethings that just may not feel right. It may feel right. It, I don't know, but just give yourself grace in every situation that you go into, you know what I'm saying? You definitely adventure out. Your mind is definitely a little more 
everywhere you know 20-somethings and um yeah um uh, what is something else what is something else in your 20-somethings I know I was expecting to come in and just start like partying crazy like I wanted it I wanted to party with my friends. I want to, and I do, I do, you know what I'm saying? I go out from time to time with my friends. I go party and stuff like that, but not that much really. I mean, it may be different for some of the other 20 somethings out there because I do be seeing some of the people on their Instagram going ham every weekend. You know what I'm saying? Like they be out there living a life, baby. And I love to see it. But for me, I find myself to be, but that also kind of ties in because I'm an outro introvert. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I will go out and I will have a good time when I'm around people. But when I'm alone, I be isolated. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even text my phone until it's off. Do not disturb. <laughs> like, but, um, yeah, this year I definitely want to give myself a little more grace with going out with friends and really pushing myself to my limits and getting outside my comfort zone. Um, that's one thing also. I can give you guys some advice on, like, if you feel like you are, like, giving yourself the, the bare minimum or you get to that point where you're like, damn, am I doing enough? I'm probably not doing enough. I I would say take time to do some reflecting and grace. Give yourself grace and just figure out what do you feel like you're lacking at that time and stuff like that. Because a lot of the times where I be feeling like, damn, I'm kind of alone. I feel like I could be doing more. I kind of self-evaluate and be like, what do I feel like? I could be doing more and or what do I feel like I'm missing on and stuff like that and um a lot of the time it's 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 like being with my friends or being with my family I don't really do too much and I just want to push myself out of my comfort zone this year to do a little more spend a little more time with my friends it don't necessarily have to be going to the club you know what I'm saying like we could do other stuff like go expand our minds together because that's what I'm into but um yeah, no, like, everything don't have to be about going out. You know, when you get in your 20s, you think, like, it's all about partying and, you know, uh, things like that. But really, if you could get a good friend group that's really for you and just, like, go to the museum or maybe go to the cabins for a weekend, maybe go for a drive, a hike, or, you know, really get in tune. If you can have those deeper connections with your friends, I advise you to take them definitely in your 20s because once you get into your 30s, I'll be seeing, I'll be watching a lot of women in their 30s. I don't know if I'm the only one in the 20-somethings that watch women in their 30s, but I just like to watch them because they have been through the stuff we have been through already, okay? So that's who I'm watching. But, um, yeah, like when I watch them, they always say, like, I start building very strong, deeper friendships in my 20s because once I got to my 30s, those friendships became very useful and grounding and things like that. So I definitely am, you know, I'm still in the early 20-somethings, but I don't have that many grounded friendships. I only have about one, and that's with my best friend. But, I mean, I have friends, but, like, really grounded, grounded friendships. I can really say, like, my best friend is one of those people Um Maybe her brother, you know what I'm saying? We really grounded. We really on that level, I would say. Um, but, yeah, now you don't really get those grounded friendships with that many people. So if you can find one, definitely keep it. Um, if it's going to be something that you feel like you can look up and see in the future. You know what I'm saying? Because me and my best friend, we talk all the time. I'm like, girl, we 30. We're going to be looking back like, what the hell was we stressing about? But, yeah, so. Also... Um, what is something else? What is something else? Um, I don't want to make this too, too long. I just wanted to make it about 25, 30 minutes. But, um, also something else is like dating. The pressures of dating in your 20s is wild, bro. Like, it's so wild. Like, everybody feel like they probably got to be with somebody or, you know, like I said, the 20s can be very lonely. So everybody's trying to feel that loneliness with somebody to take up a spot but it really gets misconstrued and things like that so the pressures of dating in the 20s is definitely wild and if you're watching me the nine times out of ten like you see what the dating standards is like nowadays in a world like with the Bob Mia Birkin and all the craziness and like the black man against the black women and the 
craziness about dating outside your race and it's just crazy out here in the, in the dating world right now um but it's definitely crazy in your 20s like it's just always something and then when you think you find somebody you be like dang you kind of was looking for like that social media standard type relationship and I'm looking for something that's like more authentic down grounded to the earth type situation so it's hard to find somebody that's real because everybody's sticking to like these social media standards and like you got these like everybody out here thinking these social media standards is what's real nowadays and I'm not gonna cap to you it is some females out there you know what I'm saying getting flown out and getting you know the Birkin bag on the first date and you know what I'm saying you you do have those people out there and you know that that's that's doing that and that want to do that but I'm saying what about us every day you know what I'm saying people that just want to kick it go to the movies or go for a little bike ride or you know something like that like it's crazy it's crazy nowadays but yeah so the dating world is definitely crazy because it's all these extra standards you don't really find nobody that's for real you don't really know if you are interested in somebody you can't really trust nobody like it's wild it's crazy so mm. The dating scene in the 20s is definitely crazy, and it's definitely a different vibe. And, um, yeah, that's why I'm chilling. Like, I'm single right now. I ain't putting too much pressure on a situation with nobody. If somebody comes along, then fine. In my dating, I, I was a little bit, but then I was like, I, I'm not interested no more. Because, like I said, it's, it's, fine. it's hard to find somebody that's actually real or genuinely trying to give you the time. But... Yeah, so that's how I'm kind of feeling about the dating world, and that's what I can give y'all a heads up on in the dating world. Um, but what is something else? What is something else? Oh, in your 20 somethings, they never tell you how much you really fall out of the old hobbies that you used to have, but you know, you still always love them, but you kind of like fall out of them, and then you just it starts making you feel a little lost. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, I have the natural light going in here, so the sun is kind of, like, shifting and moving. So, um, but, yeah, like I was saying, um, bye, son. I'll see you later. <laughs> um, yeah, nobody kind of tells you how you, like, lose interest in those hobbies and how it really has you feeling stuck. Like, what is my purpose in the world because I don't have these hobbies anymore? But really just take time to try other stuff and figure out what you like like when I was younger I was really into writing and my poetry and things like that and I'm still into my writing but like I feel out of poetry a little bit I used to love to perform I'll always be a performer at heart and I will always be able to do it I feel like because I'm so passionate and pure at it like natural at it but yeah just take time to find new things like I find myself liking to go to nature a lot more I like when I paint because I get time to just be within myself and perfect on my painting craft but yeah besides that just take time for yourselves be kind to yourselves out here man and just like appreciate and live in your moments like if you at home by yourself go freaking enjoy a movie by yourself like if you find you the type of person that always got to watch a movie with somebody, go try watching a movie by yourself, see how you like it. Take the time to read that book that you thought looked interesting to see if it's actually interesting. Try that recipe that you want to try, even though you might burn it, girl. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? You trying something, you know? Um, put on that outfit that you want to put on that you thought nobody would like. Fuck them. It's your life. You're the main character. That's what I have to say to that, but... Yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening. I appreciate all of you guys out there. I know this podcast was kind of like sporadic and everything, but it was kind of just like a vent and just like what people don't tell you about these 20 somethings that I feel like should be, you know what I'm saying, said. But um, make sure you guys stay tuned for the video um, with uh the podcast video with my friend lauren she's amazing um i do have another podcast series called oh so we friends and that one is basically gonna be me you know having a good time with my friends talking about topics and things on there the 20 something diaries is kind of gonna be like more personal and things like that so that's gonna be like the difference between those things but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this podcast if you have any 
comments or you agree about anything, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys turn on that notification bell so you know, excuse me, bell so you know every time I post. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.